This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at strong and weak acids and bases. Let's start by looking at strong acids. So strong acids completely ionize or dissociate in solution. Here we have one mole of hydrochloric acid and it dissociates to form one mole of hydrogen ions and one mole of chloride ions. The second equation shows the same reaction but here we've included the water molecule in the reactants and the hydronium ion in the products. Weak acids partially ionize or dissociate in solution. Here we have ethanoic acid dissociating to form the ethanoate ion and a hydrogen ion. The same reaction can also be shown with the water molecule in the reactants and the hydronium ion in the products. For weak acids, we use the equilibrium sign. Unlike strong acids, weak acids only partially ionize or dissociate in solution. In the case of ethanoic acid, for 100 ethanoic acid molecules, only one will dissociate to form the ethanoate ion and a hydrogen ion. Therefore, the equilibrium lies to the left. Next, we look at the conjugate bases of strong and weak acids. So strong acids are good proton donors and have weak conjugate bases. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. Its conjugate base is the chloride ion. Because it's the conjugate base of a strong acid, that means it's a weak base. Next, we look at weak acids. Weak acids are poor proton donors and have stronger conjugate bases. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid. Its conjugate base is the ethanoate ion. Because the ethanoate ion is the conjugate base of a weak acid, that makes it a stronger base than the chloride ion, which is the conjugate base of a strong acid. Next, we look at strong and weak bases. Strong bases completely ionize or dissociate in solution. Here we have sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. If we have one mole of sodium hydroxide, it'll dissociate to form one mole of sodium ions and one mole of hydroxide ions. Weak bases only partially ionize or dissociate in solution. Here we have a weak base, ammonia, reacting with water to form the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion. Just like weak acids, we use an equilibrium sign. Weak bases only partially ionize in solution, therefore the equilibrium lies to the left. And next we'll have a look at the conjugate acids of strong and weak bases. Strong bases are good proton acceptors and have weak conjugate acids. Weak bases are poor proton acceptors and have stronger conjugate acids. Let's end with a summary. Here we have the degree of dissociation or ionization and the strength of the conjugate acid or base. A strong acid will completely ionize in solution and it has a weak conjugate base. A weak acid will partially ionize in solution and it has a stronger conjugate base. A strong base will completely ionize in solution and it has a weak conjugate acid. A weak base will partially ionize in solution and it has a stronger conjugate acid. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.